Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hope you had a great weekend. You know, I gotta apologize to everybody. After 17 straight weeks, we actually missed a Tuesday. It was a little bit under the weather, had a lot going on, and I apologize for that, but I got a good one for you today. That's right, Technical Tip Tuesday, back online. So I'm doing a venous insufficiency study on a patient last week. Uh, we had them standing up. I'm looking at the popliteal fossa. I note that her popliteal vein here in a longitudinal view on the left uh, looks pretty good. However, when I have her hyperextend her knee and put all her weight on that leg, look what happens to that left popliteal vein. We can also see, appreciate that in a transverse view there on the lower right with the knee bent and with the knee hyperextended with weight bearing. What the heck is going on there? Yep, this is what we call popliteal vein compression. If you do a lot of venous insufficiency studies, you might know about this, you might not, but if you don't, you really need to. So this is Tuesday's technical tip popliteal vein compression. Here's a different patient, and a lot of times this is how it manifests. You can see this lady has a C5 disease, healed ulceration. No reflux demonstrated in the popliteal vein or any of the saphenous trunks. If you don't know about or you don't have intimate knowledge about popliteal vein compression, then this paper by Lane and others, our Australian colleagues in phlebology back in 2009, is a must read. And they're the first people that actually suggested this relationship between obesity, chronic venous disease, and a compression of the popliteal vein. That paper described popliteal vein compression as a greater than 90% reduction of the popliteal vein area with knee hyperextension or the knee lock and full weight bearing. Note in transverse view, the popliteal vein almost goes away with the knee bent there on the left. Also appreciated in a longitudinal view in the lower right. The best way to appreciate this is really in a little video clip. Note here the popliteal vein. Now this is obtained right above the popliteal crease, seen very well. However, with knee hyperextension, that vein just is compressed almost completely. So, after that paper by Lane, we became interested in this and conducted our own study involving 307 consecutive patients or 614 limbs in patients referred to our vascular laboratory for symptoms of chronic venous insufficiency. We found that the incidence and severity of popliteal vein compression increased as did the C classification in patients with increased body mass index. Approximately 5% of our patients had popliteal vein compression with knee hyperextension. 90% of these were in the obese BMI category. So here's Tuesday's technical tip take home. First off, you really need to be aware of popliteal vein compression. It's extremely easy to check in the vascular lab when you have that standing patient doing a venous insufficiency study. It really doesn't take any additional time. You should suspect in patients with high BMI or those with symptoms of chronic venous insufficiency, but you find little or no truncal reflux. Also, it's been suggested that with that compression may increase the risk of distal DVT. However, by far the most important point is that in a patient with popliteal vein compression, you need to be very cautious of treating any truncal veins in that patient. Those truncal veins serve as the primary collateral outflow when that vein is compressed. You treat that vein, you take away the collateral, you have a good chance of making that patient worse. So I hope you enjoyed today's technical tip. I apologize for missing last week. I hope I made up for it with this one. This is kind of a critical knowledge that you need to know. 
You know what to do. Like, subscribe. If you want to learn more about popliteal vein compression, you can take our course, Ultrasound Evaluation of the Popliteal Fossa, on virtualveincenter.com. You can also earn some Category 1 CME. It's getting towards the end of the year. If you need it, very convenient method to do so. Talk to you next week.